First and foremost, I just want to say Happy Easter and Resurrection Sunday. I love you guys. Now on to the broadcast. Hi everyone, Lisa Haven here. Well, AI prisons are being rolled out for dissidents, those who go against the ploys of the government or what the government is attempting to do. At least these AI prisons are already rolled out in China. Now, I've got a huge report that I gotta share with you, but for starters, let me send you or remind you of a warning by Elon Musk who said, if you are not afraid of artificial intelligence or not concerned about artificial intelligence safety, you should be even more so than North Korea. Those are the haunting words of Elon Musk warning us that AI and AI technology could very well bite us in the butt. Well, this is exactly what's happening over in China. Uh, but here's what I want to say before I even get into that. Uh, report is this. First and foremost, things that are happening international are headed in our direction. You must keep in mind uh, that China owns a good chunk of our real estate here. They owe a good chunk of Hollywood, what's being portrayed in movies. They've even gone as far as to stop production of some movies because it was a negative light or put China in a negative light. The Chinese dictator Yi Jinping is a communist scumbag in my opinion. He is killing off generals, making himself emperor, if you will, or president uh, for, well, unlimited terms. This is all part of their agenda and plan. And we need to keep in mind these things are filing over to America. We can see them happening. But check out this first report where it says these AI prisons are already a reality. This is on zerohedge.com and it's titled, China deploys, quote, Skynet facial recognition. It can compare three billion faces a second. China has unveiled a real life program named Skynet that has facial recognition system that can compare and analyze 3 billion, that's a ton, faces per second. It is also able to identify 40 different facial features regardless of the angles on your face or the lighting at a 99.8% accuracy rate. In the past two years, 2,000 criminals have already been apprehended for quote, public safety. This is obviously a system that's all about controlling people. Imagine this, you walking down the street and you have this face wear software. This is an AI prison. And I think we really need to put it in those terms because it's not the AI prison where they've got something latched to your face, um, you know, but it's a prison in that every move you make, every step you make is monitored by these cameras. We really have to keep in mind, it's a virtual prison, an AI prison where we're walking around and anybody can know where you're at at any second in time, specifically the government. Now, when you tie that, that technology, and this is amazing technology uh, that China has, but remember they're a communist country. They have the highest number of journalists uh, in de detained. They have FEMA camps. They already exist. They're their labor camps where they put people through intense labor for saying things negative about the government, not to mention uh, the law with the churches. You have churches forced underground because they don't want to submit and make the government their leader. And then you have some that are above ground as well. They're in China. But lots of tension for Christians, lots of tension for Falun Gong religion. If you're not part of what they want there, then you are part of the problem in China. And now they have this type of facial recognition technology. That's big, big trouble in little China, if you will, like the movie. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't help it. Uh, but let's also take it a step further with something I reported about uh, just a few weeks ago or months ago. This next report is from wired.com and I've also shared it on my channel, but big data meets big brother as China moves to rate its citizens. The Chinese government plans to launch its social credit system in 2020. That's not far from here. Just a couple of years. The aim, well, to judge the trustworthiness of or otherwise of its 1.3 billion citizens. Imagine what this basically social credit score does is it tells them if you're paying your taxes, if you owe money to someone, if you're sharing false news, what you're talking about on social media. Keep in mind things like VPNs uh, are banned over in those other countries, uh, in like China and other countries, or a, a, that is the ultimate goal. But they're gonna have a system in which you will have a, a credit rating, and this rating, you cannot and won't be allowed to do certain things if your rating is bad. You can't get certain loans. And this is based off social media, if you're posting fake news, if you're a criminal. Remember, a criminal in the eyes of a Chinese government is if you're part of the Falun Gong religion, or if you're a Christian. These are things that are getting targeted. It's not just 
criminal activity. When Christianity or Falun Gong is criminal activity, imagine having a credit score on your head just for believing something. No matter what you want to believe, it's up to you. As long as you're not hurting someone, that's your faith, that's your belief, and everyone has a right. You want to be a Catholic, be a Catholic. You want to be a Jew, be a Jew. You want to be a Muslim, be a Muslim. You want to be a Christian, be a Christian. Nobody has a right to control that. But this is exactly what's happening over in China in their AI prison. This is why these things and the warnings have come that AI technology can bite us in the rear. But a social credit score and now combined with facial recognition technology makes it very, very difficult for someone living in China. And I guarantee you it's already here in America. The, the program already exists on Facebook who has an entire system, a facial recognition system uh, targeted specifically at knowing who you are, who your friends are, and the, anyone can get their hands on it. Uh, say if Trump is no longer in office and we get another Obama or or God forbid some kind of Stalin person, well, we're in a whole heap of trouble in the very near future. Anyhow, I would love to get your comments and concerns on this. Please share this far and wide. This is huge because the problems that we're gonna be faced with in the very near future could look something like what China is faced with now. And imagine not being able to run or get away. And the only hope you have is living in those rural areas, at least for now, because the cities are gonna be so inundated with these facial recognition cameras. Anyhow, now, as you know, um, channels get unmonetized and all of that. Please make sure you check out my partner at Get The Tea. Uh, he has the most amazing detox products. I'll show you some of his latest. He's got Formula 13 here, as you can see. This is great for energy. It also does detox. If you're looking straight for detox, go Get The Tea Super Strength Tea, one of my favorite products, as well as the colostrum. So check out GetTheTea.com uh, and uh, use the link below and let them know you heard it on Lisa Haven. It helps fund what I do here. And it is amazing. GMO, organic products, all available at the site as well. So if you're gonna have um, supplements anyhow, why not get the good quality? stuff. Thanks again for tuning in. I'm Lisa Haven, signing out.